So let's get right into it, I guess. Um, we're going to start with TikTok. Uh, we keep banging on about how important it is, but it is crucial. Yes, uh, yes, extremely. So they're testing out some brand new features in the social commerce sector. So users could soon be able to put URLs in their bio, same as Instagram's got right now, you know, link in the bio. And currently on TikTok, there is no way to put links in here, but this would be a good opportunity for artists to put smart links to their music on there to direct people to other platforms to listen to the music. And they're also experimenting with ways to sort of advertise your products and merchandise in the app. So you could post a video and users could directly buy your products straight from the app by opening up third party websites. Yeah, man, I'm going to tell people why to me, this is so important. All right. Because if you you're on TikTok right currently, yes, it does allow you to do your YouTube link. It allows you to do, your Instagram link. And I have ran so many campaigns with artists at this point where I've tried to tell people the greatest thing that I found on TikTok is the fact that it's transferable to other platforms like nothing I've seen before. People hear your sound and they go listen to your music. They're not even necessarily even looking for you right off the bat, but they're they're going to hear your music and then becoming a fan or they're on your profile and they're following you, but then they go to see your Instagram if they're following you as a content creator, but it's not even you having to ask, right? They, their people are just going for whatever reason they're going and engaging on other platforms. I don't know if it's just because TikTok currently has limitations, which they're, where they're actually trying to build out to make that less of a thing. I don't know if that's their, what they want, but currently, they're hopping over to other platforms. And why that's so relevant to me is because when you're talking about adding a URL for e-commerce, right, or whatever other URL, that means people will go. I've seen mm -hmm. people go, I you know, run a campaign and now the Spotify song has plus 100,000 listens just from a small TikTok campaign, right? That's a very real thing. And people currently are going, they're seeing the sound let me go Google search it, right? That's the current behavior. Or let me go to Spotify yeah. actively. It's not clicking a link to then just go straight to the song. So the fact that they're doing that, going over that barrier, making that barrier of entry even smoother is going to be crazy. So, so you, you'll often see as well in the comments, like fans asking, what's this guy's artist name or what are this, what's the name of this song? And they'll like comment like, you know, go here, like search this on Spotify. Like they're all very actively engaged on the comment section. So you can see it just from that level as well, the impact that now URL is going to have. Exactly. People are looking, they're looking, they're looking, they're looking. Now, some cases I'm like, why are you asking? Cause if you just click the sound, it'll show <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right there. Yeah. But, but yeah, people are already looking, they're hungry and they're, they're trying to find this information. So just making it easier for that to happen. I could only imagine you, I remember you mentioned earlier when we were talking at being able to add a fan link now as an artist, which can't be done before, right? Every, all of these artists at this point, well, most artists at this point are using some kind of link where you can choose Spotify, SoundCloud, yeah, Apple, all that. On Instagram, you can't do that on TikTok, but it's still having an impact. So you being able to do that, I can't, I can only imagine that impact. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens because I'm also interested to see the stat, because some of those fan links, right? You can see the actual stats in the back end, how many people yeah. clicked through and where it went to. That part is going to be really cool to be able to see. But just making things constantly easier to, you know, to monetize. Like it's just everything they, all the features they add have such a good purpose. Like, so obviously the first thing was live and being able to tip artists. And now suddenly you can advertise your own merchandise or products in house. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually going to share the screen. So Joshua, yeah, I would definitely love, before I even get into this, in my opinion on it, love to see what you think in terms of how this would feel as an ad or e-commerce link. Well, what I like is how subtle it is. Obviously, instantly your eyes are drawn to the panda and then obviously the caption. But you can just see the little panda loon costumes in the, in the bottom left above the at handle. But obviously, your eyes not drawn to that for quite some time. So it doesn't feel like an advert. It feels like a regular yeah. post. Exactly. That, that's my thing. So for those who are actually looking and not just listening to this, there's this, there's this 
panned on the screen, right? But it's this small thing where that says Pandaloon, where you see the, the yellow box next to it. That is essentially the click through. The part that says www.uplabesia.com, that website, that's not a part of this. That's not a part of the yeah. post. That's more just somebody adding their watermark. So really it's only that yellow um, box that you see. And it's so clean. If you actually watch this, the first thing that came when we watched the live video, we're not going to show it's kind of weird. And, <laughs> but it's not a great example, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there was the example they gave us. It shows you, your eyes go d d directly to the video. So it feels organic right into the platform with anything else versus, yo, I, when I'm on Instagram, if you even think about the line of scrolling, as I scroll up, the first thing I see, I can read that it says sponsored before I even see the post. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And at the yeah. very least, this is the opposite. Like it would be cool if that makes me think if on Instagram, if they could at least put the sponsor thing below the post, right? To give it a chance of feeling organic. Yeah. First, that would make a huge difference because this does that. And of course, your videos, this is all video on the platform, it's motion. So you're not even looking to read first. You're looking to engage and get into that before you even look at, um, at the rest of it. Because if you're advertising like your music and it's a music video, it might just come up like a, it looks like a regular TikTok video, won't it? It won't look like something that's sponsored or advertised. If you've got this little tiny sticker in the corner only, like it's going to be like exactly. it's watching another video. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited about that. They, TikTok is doing a lot of things right. I can I could definitely attest to that, and I'm interested to see where things go. I I can't wait till it gets to the phase where other people are on the platform outside of you know, a lot of dancing and comedy because it's going to go that yeah. way. It's going to have the deep size. It's going to have everything in the same way Instagram does. At some point, there other people are going to figure out a way to make it make sense for them, right? They're, they're going to, they're just going to have to. There's, there's already churches. There's already motivational speakers in, in some aspects. If you look at somebody like Gary Vee, right? That's just yeah. his, his persona on that platform. Um, and it's successful partially because he's already bringing people over and, and also the main advertiser for people to come over. But at the same time, the engagement is true that that's happening on that platform. So he's somebody to model and there's artists on the platform, like visual artists. There's all these aspects on TikTok. And once it starts to evolve and the power of these organic ad systems, that's that's going to be really interesting to see. And they're not far away either. Yes, you know, like Instagram's got over a billion monthly active users, but TikTok's already over half a million. Like it's really quickly catching up. And the growth this year has been ridiculous. It was a number one downloaded app on the App Store in the first quarter of 2019. So 